What's up, y'all? It's Christina. And um, clearly it's nighttime because the lighting is very yellow because um, it's the best lighting I can I have for at the moment. So just roll with me as I learn how to do this. Anyways, I had to come on at night because I am just getting back from an audition of sorts. Um, if you've seen my very, very, very first video, uh, it's called Who's That Girl? My very first video for Loving God Ain't Easy. I'll put a link probably somewhere right there. Um, if you see that video, you will see that I, I'm i an aspiring actress, and it is a label that I have run from for a very long time. Uh, it is one of the reasons why I moved to the West Coast, but never wanted to admit that because it's such a stigma. It's, I have a judgment on it, which isn't cool, but I, I'm kind of coming out of that now. But... Um, I am an aspiring actress, and I also will write a blog about it. Also, you will see that up here. So I went on an audition tonight, and it was not um, it was a workshop type thing. And anyone who's an aspiring actress or actor knows what those are. You go before a an agent or a manager or a casting director in hopes to get representation or just get a job, um, not a specific job, but just something someone to kind of help advance your career. So I went on one of those, and I sucked. Bottom line, I sucked royally. And it's so crazy because I take pride in my preparation. I really prepare as best as I possibly can when it comes to things of this nature, auditions, whatever. And um, I prepared as, as best as I could in the time that I had which wasn't much time, though that's not an excuse. To me, there are no excuses. But I prepared as much as I could, and I usually am not that nervous. I'm usually one of those people, everyone gets nervous. I get nervous. Everyone gets nervous. Who says that they're not or says that they don't, they're lying to you, bottom line. But I'm usually not overly nervous. Tonight was different. I was out of my mind. I was so nervous. I completely bombed my script. I fumbled through the lines. I forgot lines. I skipped lines. I was so nervous that after I finished my scene, when the guy was asking me questions, I couldn't even remember what was on my resume, which is so unlike me. I am always prepared. I take pride in that. And I just could not believe how horrible I was. And I was so very disappointed in myself, got in the car, began to beat myself up like I usually do when at any time something like that happens. And my big thing when it comes to things like this is what did you do wrong? What went wrong? I want to know what, what went wrong. And it came down to the fact that I just wasn't comfortable with the scene. Anyways, <clears throat> ugh. Oof. I'm going to cut for a second. I'm back. So, um, like I said, I'm usually very disappointed in myself if I do bad <clears throat> because I really, really take pride in my preparation. And it's funny, God just kind of spoke to me about that because I said that word pride and immediately something clicked. I have usually done very well when it comes to auditions, performances. I have a few little bit of credits here and there. And I have done these workshops and presented myself to agents and managers and got nothing, and got nothing. And I've always gotten tons and tons of comments and feedback saying, oh, you were so great. This girl is wonderfully talented. She's going places, but not with me. <laughs> they, like they, they don't say not with me, but I don't get the call back. And I don't get you know, an email or anything saying, hey, you know, would love to represent you. But you were so great. Everyone always says the same thing. And um, <clears throat> this time tonight, I pretty much sucked. And when I do well, I expect results because I put the preparation in. And I just realized in this moment that that word pride, like it says, pride, like Proverbs says, pride goes before fall. And I've always been working on that. And I think what God is trying to tell me is that 
it's not up to me. It's not even up to my performance. It's not up to how well I do. It's up to him. One of my models when I go into auditions, a major, major model that I live by is do your best, let God do the rest. I apply that specifically for this industry because this is one of those industries where it's not about the clock. It's not about stats. It's not about numbers. It really is up to the person. And basically, in the spiritual realm, it's the favor of God. And you just got to trust that if something didn't come your way, then it wasn't meant for you. What God has for you is for you. And so all those times when I've done so well and been really, really proud and really, really happy with what I did and said, oh, my gosh, I can't believe they didn't call me back. Well, you know, it probably wasn't meant for me, right? But it also goes to show you that it's not about you and your ability. You cannot trust in your ability. Some trust in chariots and horses, but you got to trust in the power of God and the favor of God to be over your life and over your career and over your circumstances. And so tonight was a lesson. And I am curious to see if through this lesson, um, it would be so crazy if this guy ended up calling me back. Um, if this agent called me back, I would be like, okay, clearly this was a favor of God because my performance sucked. But um, if he does, so be it. If he doesn't, so be it. In the meantime, I'm going to work on pride. If you got any tips on that or any verses, of course I have my video verses, but if you have any verses, please put them in the comments below. In the meantime, I'm going to go lick my wounds and wash off this horrible, horrible night. Uh, check out, don't forget to check out my blog at rusinaporterfield.com. You can also see the actress bit there. Uh, and that's it. So peace, stay cool, God bless.